In 2022, our president spelled out a vision to plant and grow 15 billion trees by the year 2032 with a target to see our national tree cover increase from 12.13% to 30% by the year 2032. We request all partners present today to support the implementation of the President's National Landscape and Ecosystem Restoration Strategy that will help us protect Kenya's ir irreplaceable biodiversity and see us achieve the targeted tree cover. This necessitates a concerted effort by all institutions, partners, and individuals to grow trees with a target of each one of us planting 30 trees annually, especially during the rainy seasons. I trust that we are all leveraging the current rains to plant more trees. Organizations like the Mount Kenya Wildlife Conservancy have planted over 40,000 indigenous trees to help restore the forest, thereby preserving and protecting old wildlife, great and small. In closing, let me say that we are confident that Mount Kenya Wildlife Conservancy and your partners will continue to support the increase of the mountain bongo antelope to a level that they will no longer be marked as an endangered species in Kenya. We look forward to that day and look forward to celebrating it with you. This week, the Mount Kenya Wildlife Conservancy will release 10 mountain bongos into the Mawingu Sanctuary, giving us hope and motivation to continue to protect our endangered species and preserve their valuable habitat. This exercise will increase the number of mountain bongos released into the wild to 20 since last year. I congratulate the patron, Mr. Humphrey Karaoke, the Board of Trustees and staff at Mount Kenya Conservancy for your dedication to see the survival and protection of the mountain bongo. Congratulations. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the combined efforts of Mount Kenya Wildlife Conservancy, Kenya Wildlife Service, and the Kenya Forest Service is a show of exemplary collaboration and a testament of what can be achieved when we work together. Listening to the speakers before me, I'm glad to note that you all work with local communities and schools to promote conservation education. This aligns with my office approach to engaging learners in conservation efforts as well as communities in the growing and nurturing of trees. Nurturing young minds towards conscious environmental stewardship is critical. I'm glad to know that Conservancy has done so for the last 20 years where they have hosted over 400,000 students on educational trips. This is truly remarkable. Tourism remains a critical sector for the Kenyan economy, especially around foreign exchange earnings. As a service sector, it creates numerous jobs and supply chain opportunities. Conservation is at the center of the success of the tourism sector. The bottom-up economic transformation agenda, BETA, has a commitment to promote Kenya's tourism and its diversification by promoting niche products and services. Conservation tourism is one such niche product that attracts high-value domestic and international tourism. God has blessed our beloved country with diverse flora and fauna that have made Kenya one of the top tourist destinations in the world. Unfortunately, over time, a variety of factors ranging from human interference to the most recent climate change, including the current floods, have threatened this God-given treasure. 